Hey Podcast would like to invite you to come break bread with your brothers. If you like what you're hearing on the show, if you think we missed the mark, or if we got it all wrong, reach out to us on social media. We can be reached on Twitter at triple underscore B underscore pod or search Brothers Breaking Bread Podcast. We are the Brothers Breaking Bread on Facebook and our email is brothersbreakingbreadpod at gmail.com. Further descriptions are in the show notes. Like, follow, friend, do all that good stuff. And please never forget to break bread with your brothers. How y'all doing? We out here, chilling in the spot. What up? How y'all doing? We out here, chilling in the spot. What up? Breaking Bread Podcast in the house. Yeah, let's make it happen. Let's not just talk about it. This is a beautiful thing, man. It's all this blackness and we all just getting together, we playing dominoes, we eating, we drinking. And, you know, the food is always just the, the extra man. They deprive these people of their basic human rights. You know, and we call ourselves Americans. We're supposed to be above all this. They'll fake the crisis, they'll make it seem way out of court. Brothers, we breaking bread. How y'all doing? We out here, chilling in the spot. What up? Trying to hold it all together, man. Life is moving fast right now, man. So it's good to have everybody come through. I love that, man. I love it a lot more than I could, I could, I could, I could say to you guys. This right here this is the ultimate fallout of all this. Usually, you see a white officer uh, escorting a black man out. This is an yeah. upside down world. In this video, uh, there's a black officer uh, trying to get this white man who's not wearing a mask out of this store. I, I disagree, bro. You, well, don't, you don't see you don't see a white officer. Oh no, no, you, oh, you mean? You, I'm sorry. Shooting, take, taking shooting. a black man out. You take a white. You see a white officer taking a black man out. You see yeah. him shooting him. Yeah, yeah. You don't see him escorting him out. Hey, you know what? We might we, we might black have to folks put ain't up. about to do this, man. Black folks ain't about to do this shit in front of the police officers, man. No, oh. no. We, we, we might have to they do. are 100 correct. It can prove it. You know what I'm saying? You got to be, and even then you might get shot in the face. Right. Yeah. We might so have like, to. You know what I'm saying? Nah, they ain't about to do this shit. Nah, black folks don't do this. That's like yeah. like black folks don't fucking storm the Capitol. That that too. Mm-hmm. I agree. We we might have to get a new award, uh, calmness in the face of racism award uh, show on the show. No. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like we already got our. Uh, not so great moments in, in white privilege award wrapped up for 2021. Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. Because this nigga should have got war out. Here we go. Now, nah, nigga, I'm talking about the fucking protest to stop the stop the oh uh, yeah stop the steal niggas. The protest niggas, yeah, <laughs> with a bullet, nigga. That's, <laughs> nigga, that's, that's that's it. For real for real. Hey, there's, there's there's no need to promote to put anyone. In. If someone else makes it to the list and wins, the asteroid definitely should be on the way. Right. <laughs> this is all ancillary from now on. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. Here we go. Oh, well, shut the fuck up, faggot. You're a bitch. Bitch, you're a bitch, yeah, bitch. Bitch. Bitch, you're a bitch, yeah. You're a bitch. Bitch, you're a bitch. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. You got to move ready, boy. You're a bitch. So, it looks like fucking evil Doc hey, Brown. Hey, I was about to say, future. shout out to Joe saying evil Doc Brown about to get slapped back to the future, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and he over here talking hella shit, spitting as he talk, no goddamn mask on. No mask. Um, that's why he's been escorted out the fucking store. Right, and he is like right in this in this uh black police officer's face. Hey, calling but, his ass a bitch, talking about a foot away from his face. Hey, but hey, but he kept walking though. Yeah, he, he kept, kept walking. walking. He kept walking. He kept walking he, his ass out. <laughs> he would stop, but that nigga kept it moving though. Nigga, he was like, I'm I'm crazy, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hold on, couple more seconds. Mm-hmm. Don't give me some chemistry, fam. You're a bitch. 
I'm going to execute you to the executioner, boy. I'll be your executioner. Now I'm not your prosecutor, boy. Be good, hey, He hit him with the two thumbs up. Now, if you see the video, it's obvious that this white man is not well. No. Yeah. No, it, that, he's not there, well at all. There's something going on, but as Joe said earlier, black folks don't get the same benefit of doubt. Benefit of the doubt of like you can look at them and say something ain't right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This man definitely like I don't know if he's psychotic or whatever, but whatever he medication like he, he need to take, around. he ain't take that morning, nigga. So yeah. yeah. We'll keep moving. Uh, I don't know if y'all want to talk about this or not. Because it kind of goes into what we were just talking about. Mm-hmm. It so, does. So, unarmed black man, fatally shot by a cop. Family mm-hmm. called the cops for a psych- psychiatric assist. Black man had a history of uh, mental health issues. This must be Texas. Yes, sir. Oh, look, Colleen, Texas. Mm-hmm. Colleen, yep. For Hood, fuck that place. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, an unarmed black man was shot and killed outside of his home in front of his family, who said they called police to get him a psychiatric, get him psychiatric help, but were told a mental health officer is not available. Uh, if you won't defund the police, uh, put the funds into the appropriate. Resources. Uh, Ring uh, video doorbell footage captures, captures the final moments of Patrick Warren's life when the cop in Killeen, te- cops in Colleen, Texas, responded to the family's call Sunday. In the video, the officer rings the doorbell and is briefly allowed inside the home, but then says he's going to walk back outside. Attorney Lee Merritt, who's working with the family, says Warren told the officer to leave. Shortly after, Warren is seen walking outside toward the cop while waving his arms erratically. The officer tells him to stop. Get on the ground, but Warren refuses. As the family follows him outside, you can hear the sound of a taser being deployed on Warren. Then he gets up and continues to move toward the officer off camera, who shoots him, who shoots his gun three times. A family member screams at the cop, I told you, don't use a gun. Warren later died at Carl R. Darnold Army. Oh, yeah, I've been there. Army Medical Center. Mary, uh, Mary claims the family called the cops seeking a mental health off, excuse me, officer when they noticed changes in Warren's behavior, but say they were told they didn't have one, so they sent a, sent a regular police officer. Well, that's, you know, I, I posted that thing uh, maybe a week or two ago. Mm-hmm. I think it was somewhere up in Oregon. Where they um, started, a, I think it's, they've actually had it for for a little bit of time. Some uh, non police unit that uh, specifically um, responds to mental health calls. You know, yeah, for calls with mental to mm-hmm. deal with people with mental health issues. And um, from what I, from my memory, from my understanding, um, you know, they're unarmed as far as like you know, they're not uh, armed with any sort of lethal um, weapons. Right. Um, you know, and they're obviously trained uh, to deal with, you know, to deal with people going through a, a mental break or a psychotic break or whatever the case may be. And, um, yeah, man, you know, once again, defund the fucking police. Um, that doesn't mean get rid of the police for all you dumb motherfuckers or you motherfuckers that just, you know, is being belligerent and, and acting like um, you don't know what people mean when, when we say defund the police and we can talk about the titles, and we have talked about that, so I'm not going to get into that. But, um, you know, the there need to be resources um, allocated, you know what I'm saying? So when these people call for a mental health officer, there needs to be some available, you know what I mean? So, and, and I don't, I don't know, did they say whether there was even a mental health officer that was employed at this particular police station or... Or all was they, not, or was, or, or was just there was not one available. That's all they say in the report. There was not one available. Okay, but that doesn't mean that they even have one that's ever. No, available, you, you're correct. You know? And you're I don't correct. know. I don't know the ins and outs. You know, but so, this is some man. You know, this is what we're talking about. We're not just uh, out here being belligerent. We're not just out here, uh, you know, boy crying wolf type of shit, man. Like this shit is happening every day. So no, I mean, and furthermore, this is this man's family. It's not strangers. This is this man's family right. who knows that right. okay, something's not right with Patrick. And they're Warren. not under threat. They're not. They're not acting like they're. They're feeling threatened. They're like, you know what I mean? They're just trying to get some help. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, we'll we'll play. It's a minute thirty. We'll play the video.
I'm afraid to pause it. So what you see now is the cops arrive at the at the house. They ring the doorbell. Is the door open? Hello. Cop goes in the house. Talking to the family. This is how you know it's just fucked up. It's Killeen, Texas, and they got snow on the ground. Yeah, snow on the ground. <laughs> That's a fuck me up. There's a little guy that's thrown off. They don't know how to act. He's right. calm. He's calmly. The cop is calmly walking out the car. So, and it's clear. He has no weapons. No weapons. Now he's walking towards him. He's wet. He's flailing his arms. And and now they just shot the uh, the stun gun at him, so he's he's, he's getting tased. Hey, 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 Dad, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, hey. There's the gunshot. So once again, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Where is the fucking restraint when it's black bodies? We just spent an hour covering white people. Who gathered from all over the fucking U.S. to storm the Capitol, and yeah, like what the, the that white lady got killed, and then that one motherfucker that tased them. Watched the video on that shit. Them motherfuckers were storming the door, man. They broke the windows with their hands. I know, but but yeah. people were trying to say, well, somebody died. I'm like, nigga, if those was niggas coming in there, that shit looked like night of the living dead, dog. Oh, That's what it looked like. That motherfucker. It'd have been like a video game. Nigga, they would have yeah. bombed the Capitol. They'd be like crabs in a the barrel. If it was They'd be like, oh, well, we'll build another one. Yeah. Oh, shit, what do you got? We'll get some niggas to build it this time. Yeah. Nah, nigga, nigga, they had the fucking congressmen in the hallway, and they breaking through the fucking door. Right. Like, his congressman had just left. Mm-hmm. Less than like thirty seconds ago, and they breaking through the door with their hands, breaking through the glass, and, and, and was tearing through the door. That nigga had to do something. Hey, nigga, it was a yeah. fucking mob coming. Nigga, that shit. Oh, yeah. What's that Will Smith movie with the zombies, nigga? Uh, oh, I, am I am legend. That's what that shit looked like, nigga. Yeah. yeah. Right. That is exactly what it looked like. Yep. Nah, but but this man who you can tell is unarmed, hands open, and you definitely can tell. Like, like ain't, ain't no niggas in their right mind charging at the fucking police. Yeah, he was he was clearly not in his right mind. And the whole reason why you got called there cuz the family told you we need He's psychiatric help, right nigga. Mind. We need somebody to come calm this nigga now. Without a gun. Push play. Push play. I'll push play. No! 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 I told you don't use a gun. I told you. I told you don't use a gun. I told you. I told you don't use a gun. I told you don't use a gun. I told you don't use a gun. There it is. They're there fucking cowards, dog. They fucking cowards. Who do we call for help? We don't. We don't call nobody for help because we can't trust the fucking cops. It's like it's like I, I, ass white cowards. It's like the other day when like I, what that when I first moved over here, I told the story of that fucking people that was arguing and shit, and I'm like, I ain't calling the cops, even though the cops showed up, because I'm like, I don't know what's gonna happen. Right. It's just crazy, bro. And like, and, and, and you and you watch a video where a black officer is insulted, called a faggot, called a nigger, called a bitch, called so everything on the book, so everything but his name. The man, I mean, and the man is right in his space. That man could have reached for his weapon. Yeah, he wasn't at arm's length. You know what I'm saying? And once they got outside, that man had a bag. That cop didn't know what that white man had in the bag. And not once, not once, did that black officer reach for his weapon or his fucking taser. Not once. Nope. But yet, cop, a white cop see a black man flailing his arms, obviously in mental distress. And people wonder why we mad, bro. It's like, no, do I want to see white people getting shot like that? No, nigga. No. I just want the same amount of fucking... We don't want to be fucking shot. No, I just, I just, nigga, just, just give me the same respect, bro. Anyway. 
Okay, let's move on to something different. Before I give, oh, well, <laughs> you can't really move on to anything different. I'm not interested. Uh, Chicago Tribune. Uh, speaking of white privilege, um, the boy Cal Rittenhouse, or uh, what, what we call him? Cracker Killer Cal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Who plus Cal? So yeah, wait a minute. KKK. Ain't he 18? Cracker yeah, Killer Cal. Turned, he, just turned, he just turned 18. Yeah, so, he was 17 when shit went down. He's 18 now. So this nigga was okay. out at a bar having a drink with some of the Proud Boys as they say, flashing signs that were adopted by the Proud Boys that some has deemed deemed to be as racist. A fucking Kappa sign. Yeah, that the uh, yeah the fucking white power okay sign or the fuck they call it. Yeah, but the Kappa sign. Yeah, basically that's like that is. fucking noop sign. That's what that is. <laughs> they go. Yeah, I said it. I said it. You noops is Proud Boys. <laughs> Uh, I said it. The uh, the opinions of Joe Jeff are not the opinions of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's the opinion what? that's gonna get us in trouble, nigga. <laughs> <Right. laughs> no, not at all. No, they don't give a shit about niggas. I know they don't. Yo, Joe out here banging. Come on, man. <laughs> he all said, right. You know he said want that be. I'm be like, I'm be like, I gotta be out. Cause that's my nigga. I'm. You, you oh, you frat? Nah, that's my nigga though. So I don't know what I'm supposed <laughs> to do. <laughs> Let's break on Greek, nigga. Let's break on Greek. <laughs> Unless y'all niggas won't get shot in y'all kneecaps, I suggest y'all move along. Right. <laughs> Stepping. You will never swing a cane again, nigga. Anyway. Uh, don't drop the cane. Don't drop the cane. Don't drop the cane. I was, I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you in your cane hand, nigga. Oh, oh you a kappa? You a kappa? I'm a kneecapper. I'm a kneecapper. <laughs> I'm a kneecapper. <laughs> I'm a kneecapper. <laughs> Hold on, let me write that down, dog, because that might have to be this goddamn. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's, that's, pretty good. Why, that's why that nigga, that nigga, that nigga Zeb got bars, man. He did have bars, man. <laughs> I, mean, I had to write that down because I forget. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm a decap. <laughs> so, Cal Rittenhouse flashed a hand sign appropriated by some white supremacist groups and was loudly serenaded with a song reportedly adopted by far-right group, the Proud Boys, as the 18-year-old... 18 year old drank at a Wisconsin bar last week. Prosecutor said, yeah, Okay, in a no, that's that's mitigated, man. They uh, he was with his parents though, <laughs> okay. And so, Wisconsin law <laughs> apparently says oh. that underage oh. drinkers can drink if they accompany by their parents, okay. okay. Really, okay, that's what that's what I read. That's what I read, yeah. okay. I'm a, no, even when you out on on, on bail. <laughs> <laughs> So that lets you know. So if if my son was out on bail, I'm like, nigga, we ain't going no, we, nigga, we ain't going nowhere. We're gonna be at the house. But, but 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 worse than that to me, and I don't know about the sign. I didn't see the flash sign, but that nigga had a shirt that said "free as fuck." I heard. Yep. I saw, that's the part that pissed me off. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, you out here just fucking flaunt, nigga. You out on fucking bail, nigga. You not free as fuck. Yeah. Nigga, you got you got to report back. You're not free as fuck. So why you out here out here trying to trying to flaunt like you you know what I'm saying? I don't know man. I, I just, that's just I hate. Mm-hmm. I hate certain white people, man. That's all. And it's still and it's still a pandemic going on out here. Yep. And you in a bar drinking. Eighteen. Eighteen. With your parents. With your parents. After okay. you after you yeah, didn't after. shot kill you shot three, mm-hmm. killed two. Killed two. Yeah. Okay. Man. That's how it's going down. All right. Let that be one of the twins or my uh, or one of my boys. No, nigga, you will be sitting your black ass in the fucking house until we go to court. You've done enough, nigga. If, <laughs> right. if, if, if they would have got Bill. Yeah, if. And that's that's you know, the whole community is backing this motherfucker, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. Cause yeah. let, shit, let that have been one of our kids, nigga. Mm-hmm. And we walked them out to fucking, you know what I'm saying, Applebee's. Nigga McDonald's. Yeah, that is spitting off food and, and hell yeah, throwing shit at us. Probably would have had a mob. Probably would have had a lynch mob out, outside of Applebee's. Hell yeah, man. All right. Fuck like man. I don't know. Yeah, be like that sometime. All right, let's get to some this, this uh, sports. There's some good news going around. Mm-hmm. I, I have no good segue for uh, racism. Sorry. 
Right. <laughs> Speaking of niggas who used to wear Blue Lives uh, Matter masks. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Joe. Joe's always there. That's, you know what I'm saying? My nigga always be there with the alley. <laughs> So, uh, Segway King. Segway King. Uh, <laughs> Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Nets have acquired James Harden. Is that, yes, good? Is that a good thing, bad thing? I mean, I, 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 I it's know, an uh, thing. I know Zeb and uh, Joe do a little more NBA than I do. Mm hmm. So, Zeb, I'll let you kick it off, man. You, you, you're way more engrossed than I am. I, I watch highlights, you watch the actual games. <laughs> Well, I'm on highlight. I'm on highlight uh, uh, mode right now for the most part. But, but yeah, I mean, you know, this has been something that's been coming down the pipeline for a minute. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't really think that uh, it was going to happen with the Nets. Um, but then with the whole Kyrie thing, which you got to, you know, if you're going to talk about this James Harden trade, then you also got to mix in what's been going on with uh, Kyrie Irving uh -huh. and uh, him not playing. Like the last, I don't know, four or five games or so. I don't, I don't know exactly. Well, he pulled, a, he pulled a fucking hard, and he went to a fucking party and and, and yeah, he, was out here he COVID and yeah, he you know that. what I'm saying? Yeah, he got, he just got fined 50, 50 G's. Mm -hmm. uh, I think today or yesterday. But uh, so yeah, man, you know, like James Harden, he he obviously had made, uh, excuse me, he had made it known that that he wanted to be traded before the season started. He didn't show up to training camp. He was out in Vegas kicking it. With I forget which which baby it was, little baby or the baby one or two, I think it's little baby. One of them. Uh, you know, and so I think after the last game that he played with Houston, uh, the press conference he was like, uh, you know, they just ain't good enough. You know, they ain't got the talent, and uh, he just kind of basically was like, you know, he did all that he could do for the city of Houston, and you know, he basically just publicly was like, you know, I'm done, I'm done. You know, he got up and walked out. And uh, they interviewed his teammate, DeMarcus Cousins. They interviewed another teammate, uh, John Wall, just a uh, post-game press conference. And they were both, you know, especially DeMarcus Cousins, he was just like, you know, it's just disrespectful. It's been, you know, it's been disrespectful. And uh, the next day, uh, you know, here we go. They made the trade. And uh, we're going to see what happens, man. But, you know, for as far as the Nets is concerned, I, you know, me personally, I kind of think it's a, it's an insurance. I think if Kyrie wouldn't have did what he did, you know, over the past week or whatever, then this trade probably wouldn't have happened the way it happened, you know. But that um, forced, the, forced the Nets' hands to go ahead so. and, and be desperate and, and give up the farm. Yeah, yep, I think so because they to have to have get a, Harden in there so you at least have, you know what I'm saying, yeah. a, a, another guard, to, you know, to pair with KD. With KD, yeah. yeah. Exactly, because you don't know what the fuck Kyrie's going to do. You know what I'm saying? You don't, I mean, that's he's kind of been a little erratic throughout his career. And, uh -huh. and you know, from all I hear, man, you know, he's a real good dude. You know, he, he cares real deeply about things and all that and all that jazz. And, you know, so do so so do many of us, man. But, you know, we still have to get up and, uh, and, and take care of our responsibilities, you know, and, and go to work and, and you know, and just deal with whatever, whatever we have to deal with as as, uh, as adults and grown men. Well, don't you know forget I mean? that nigga opted out the bubble, didn't he? Uh, well, he was already hurt. He wasn't even going to play. So the Nets, they made, you know, they were in the play, or at least they were, um, they in were the in bubble. the bubble. Yeah, yeah, they were in the bubble. So he wasn't even going to play, but he was talking about um, that he didn't think that they should, you know, that anybody should play in the bubble. And it's like, okay, I mean, because, you know, you got to remember what was going on at this time. This was right when the um, uh, the George Floyd, you know, the protest from the George Floyd murder uh, right. really heating up, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of a lot of cats, you know, in the NBA, from my understanding, were, were um, you know, debating on whether they wanted to, to commit to the bubble. And a lot of cats didn't didn't commit, you know, for for that reason and various other reasons. But anyway, so yeah, he was saying that he didn't, you know, that he didn't think anybody. But it's like, well, you ain't really got nothing to lose, though, bro, because you ain't playing anyways already, you know. Yeah. Um, and then. And, yeah, they, and so, they said they said this 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 hiatus he's taking has been over activism too, hasn't it? That's what he hasn't. You know, the thing is, is that he hasn't really come out and said anything. The initial reports was just that, you know, they didn't know. They didn't know what the fuck was going on. But it did take place right after uh, last Wednesday. It took place on Thursday, I think, you know, so right after the Capitol um, insurrection. And and so, yeah, that's kind of how it's been filtered out, how it's been played out is that, you know, that seems to be a large part of the reason why uh, he decided 
why he hasn't been playing. Um, you know, but it's just like, you know, once again, man, you know, you can walk and chew gum at the same time and you get paid a whole lot of money to, to, yeah. to walk. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you can, you can figure out a way to chew gum uh, while you walk, bro. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so yeah, man. So I think that that did force their hand um, to, like you said, give up the farm to get James Harden. And it's going to be I, I, I just been, I just been cracking up off the fucking memes, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. The memes have been hilarious. They, they had a, they had a nigga, uh, they had like this little cartoon one of KD stapling a, a, a missing poster <laughs> of, of 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 Kyrie on, on a fucking you know what I'm saying like a tree or you know what I'm saying lamppost or whatever yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah t- uh, t- <laughs> with, with fat ass, with fat ass uh, James Harden showing up <laughs> <laughs> he seen the one. And, and, and they said we look we looking for Kyrie AKA World Be Flat World Be <laughs> Flat oh, <nah>. yeah. <laughs> they acting stupid damn of World Be Flat but have you, I was rolling. Bro. But have stupid. you seen the picture they've been using for Harden though? That real big fat nigga. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 what's his name? The wrestler nigga. The, uh, I can't think of his name. <laughs> I don't know his name. Oh. But I know you talk about it. I was my man, did, my man did his fucking uh, intro song for uh, WWE too. I can't think of his name. Henry or something like that. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, um, not John Henry. This nigga Henry. said John Henry. That horrible ass oh, movie. God. Not John Henry. Um, shit. Oh, yeah. Mark Henry. Mark Henry. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got that nigga, that nigga Harden looking like Mark Henry. <laughs> they got him in that yeah. jersey, that nigga. That nigga came back fucking he fat, up, bro. He fat than a motherfucker, bro. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he showed up. Like, that's that's what the Marcus Cousin was saying, man. He was like, shit's been disrespectful, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know? He ca- he clearly came in not giving a fuck. And I mean, Cousins look, I'm, put, Cousins is only putting up like six points a game, though, man. Yeah, I mean, he's coming off of what? Two years? Two years of being? No, I mean, he's, yeah, he's hell of an injury. So, he been, he been injured. I mean, but I'm saying he can't be the spokesman, though, man. Well, I mean, I mean I, we know he's done in the game, but it ain't like he won yeah, no championship yeah, in the game. He, he ain't won a playoff game in the, in, 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 in the NBA, man. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. And, and you know, and John Walls uh, played for losing franchise pretty much his whole career also. You know what I'm saying? But that doesn't, I don't think that that um, that's your teammate or supposed to be your teammate. You know what I'm saying? So that doesn't, so that doesn't just because, um, you know, you ain't been playing basically for the last couple of years because you've been injured and you ain't never won a, uh, a playoff game. That mm-hmm. doesn't mean that you don't have an opinion or that you don't have a right to express an opinion on how this dude and no doubt uh, is is working you know his my question is does that mean we're gonna listen no. well that's your own choice yeah you know what i mean that's your own choice but no, i mean not, i could make so, i could so, make so my they, own they, decision bro did the, did the man come in fed or not now it's james harden so james harden gonna ball regardless you know what yeah. i'm saying because that's just that's what he do you know what i'm saying but mm-hmm. i could i could put myself uh, in their shoes, especially with both of them, John Wall and, and DeMarcus Cousins, both coming off an of injury, both uh, coming to that team as new, you know, they're new to that team, to the Houston Rockets. And, uh, you know, they're trying to move forward, man. They're trying to move forward with their careers and with the season. And, um, you know, it, it's not it's not fair to them or to uh, their new head coach, uh, Steven Silas, who has been a, a assistant coach for like 20 years. You know what I'm saying? The son of a head coach, uh, and this is his first shot at a at an NBA head coaching job. You know what I'm saying? He's a, he's a, a young he's a, a, a young uh, black coach in the NBA, which we need more of, quite frankly, yeah. or they need more of, quite frankly, in the NBA. Well, they, they, so you they, know what I mean? They had so, swung a, a multi-team deal and had gotten the Pacers involved and got Victor Oladipo down there, and I was really interested in seeing how Oladipo was going to match with John Wall. And um and cousins and, and, and it looked like it looked like they got a a young big man balling out down there you know what I'm saying yeah so they I was, do I, I seen I seen a couple I seen like part of a game and I watched you play a little bit I don't remember his name my bad you know yeah I, I don't either but you know what I'm saying I think it's like Woods or something like that but, but I, I was ex- I was excited to see Oladipo in that make sure he's trying to pull a fucking power move too and get out of there hmm. yeah big piano you know what I'm saying um. So I don't know what his what his uh, ultimate end game is. Now, he, wants know, to, he wants to get to Miami. He wants to get he wanted to get out of Indiana, but now he wants through? to get to Miami. So he's got an expiring contract. So he may ride it out and try to get to Miami next year. Yeah, because he'll be a free agent. 
Yeah, but he's trying. He's trying to force his hand to get there now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, yeah. I mean, and, and Houston may deal him. You know, depending on you know what Miami's willing to uh, give up or. Oh yeah, that nigga ain't James Harden. He can go. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I mean, they they got him for a reason, you know, uh, for that for that option to get rid of him for some draft picks or whatever the case may be. Man. You know, but this is a big move. This is a big deal. Uh, you know, because this thing is gonna be crazy, man. Like if if Kyrie do come back on point, and uh, you got James Harden, and uh, and obviously KD is KD. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's gonna you're be looking, a you're looking at Nets Lakers final. Yeah, that's what you're looking at, man. That could be you know? seismic. And then, um, yep. you know what I'm saying, LeBron out here, man, because they, they didn't build another fucking super team against his ass. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so, uh, Jay and LeBron. Well, I, don't know. I don't know if LeBron is mad at anything. No, we got no, uh, no, we, we got live audio. We got footage. We got, we got footage. footage. Mark, Hold on. Mark Phillips. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, <sighs> really, bro? Fuck this web browser. Of course. Nobody can stop us, that's what I'm saying. I know, because look at this. Look, remember when I did this? LeBron, I got to Come on, you know what it is. Hey, hey, what's after practice? You see me practicing right now. James Harden went to the Nets today. Wait, James Harden went what? To the Mets? The Nets. The Mets? Look. James Harden went to the Nets? Yeah. So it's James KD and Kyrie? Yeah. I'm 36. I'm 36. <laughs> Why is it always everybody versus me? I'm not Thanos. Charlie. <laughs> Man, I can't keep doing this. I'm tired. I just beat the Warriors. You know what? Hey, put, put Kyrie on the phone. Call him. Give him the phone. Kyrie. Kyrie. You scared me, son? Why you need Kyrie? Why you need Kyrie? Kyrie. I know you hear me. I know. You're... Okay, that's fine. It's over. It don't even matter. It's over. Get off my phone. Man, get off my phone. I'm telling you. Where y'all going? Practice is not over. Get back on the court. We're running two more hours. Full court. Stop <laughs> throwing the ball off. Come on. Court. That nigga said I'm not Thanos, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they had Kyrie with that hand, that nigga. nigga. Fool, bro. That's hilarious. He said, he said Harden went to the Mets. The Mets, <laughs> no Nets. The Nets, nigga. What? Stop throwing hey, me the man, ball, hey, nigga. Hey, hey, uh, and on some callback shit, when he called Kyrie, that's the same Kyrie pose. <laughs> with the fucking one ring on that he had when that nigga uh, left Cleveland. Yeah. Right. And, and Mark Phillips did the same fucking shit. <laughs> That's good shit. Where he, where he played LeBron calling uh, call Kyrie and Kyrie stood there with his head over with that one ring. <laughs> Not saying shit. shit. That's good shit. Oh, uh, shit. That's, 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 his callback game is, is strong too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we don't need uh, Kyrie or Harden, but we do need the basketball team in Kansas City. Is that <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Hey, hey uh, I think Shazad sent me that. Yes. Are there any billionaires out that. there? If that shit go down, we should have we should have had Oklahoma, but that's neither here nor there. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I remember I remember being a little kid, man. My step my step pop took me to a uh, Kings game. I used to go to Kings know. game. That shit I, was shit. I, I know I went arena. to one. I don't remember them, but I, I remember like being at one. I don't remember nothing going on. Yeah, I, I yeah I was kind of uh, a bit young too, man. Like I remember being at the game. I don't I don't remember who they were playing or, you know, what I'm saying exactly what happened in the game or whatnot. But it's been a long time, man. You know, we lost the Kings to uh, Sacramento. Yep. And um, you know, like uh, like uh, I think it was Stuart that just said, you know, we should have had a uh, uh, oh, OKC. Mm-hmm. You know, we should have. I remember at one know, point. Before before Duncan got there, San Antonio was languishing. They were talking about moving in. They were talking, yeah, yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, man, so that would be a beautiful thing. I think we deserve it, man. You know what I mean? But well, we are back. Uh, so, so, so what it looked like is Seattle. Th- th- okay, so NBA is going to span from 30 to 32 teams, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which makes sense to me. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how the NFL got it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 16 teams of conference. Right. And so um, Seattle is going to be first in line because they lost the Sonics, and right. I don't know. I don't even know why the Sonics left. You know, what I'm saying I have no. I have no clue why the Sonics left and became the Thunder. 
it has but, something to do with um they were trying to get a new stadium that type of thing yeah type, so type, I, type apparently thing. they got one now you know so i think they got one now uh-huh. and so we built ours you know the it used to be the sprint center now the T- t-mobile center mm-hmm. right. it's been in existence for a while and, and help, um, on, it was state of the art at the time it was built joe about 10 joe. years ago Go ahead. these niggas, went, eight, these niggas went for a tournament. fucking hockey team who did? Right. Kansas City did. They, they, they yeah, had the. Uh, it was the Penguins. It was one of the two hockey teams that were trying to move. We we've been trying to fill that fuck, fuck it with an anchor tenant. Whoever come. Yeah, but yeah. but but in that same year, it was it was the try to get either the fucking like we say Oklahoma, or NBA try to get, was talk, NBA was talking like yo, um, y'all, y'all can get a WNBA team. I, I just remember niggas was talking about trying to get a hockey team, and they were trying to do they that. They were trying to get the Penguins, and the Penguins uh, played us so they can get a better stadium in, in Pittsburgh. Man, we should, you know we should win all of them. Yeah. But, but what I'm home. saying is they were just trying to get – they didn't care what it was, hockey or basketball. They were trying to get yeah, somebody in their building. Okay. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so what I'm saying is, yeah, you know, I, I think at one point Seattle was top – well, the, the Supersonics were talking about coming here, but then the owner uh, – the, the new owner of the Supersonics was from Oklahoma City, so we brought him down there. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But um, so what, what I'm saying now is that Seattle is going to be first in line to get a new team. The second team is is looking like it's between us and, and Vegas. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn it! Now Vegas already got the hockey team. They just got the football team. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So Vegas, I would imagine, is a larger market, but at the same time, it might be kind of transient. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. Mm-hmm. And what they're saying is it's based on it's based on tourism, and tourism is down. You know, because of COVID, so who knows? Right. Whenever it might go down, can it can it exist in that city? Now they they do do the NBA summer league, so those guys are accustomed to having the NBA. Right. Where do they I play? Mean, do you know where they play it in the summer league? I think it's UNLV. That's what I was thinking. Okay. So yeah. do they even have a, re- a, a real arena in in Vegas? They got the fucking the hockey team. They just built the hockey. They just got a hockey team. Oh, they, they, they just, yeah, I think okay. they just won a Stanley Cup. Uh, or right. if they didn't win it, they played for it like a year. Yeah, before. like not last year, but the year before. Like yeah, like they just got in the NHL and then like within a it was like their first year, they played for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah they yeah, played yeah. for it their first year. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, they definitely have the stadium because the hockey team is there. Yeah. Um, yeah you're right. So I mean. We have a history of having it. We have the avid uh, fan base, you know what I'm saying, Mizzou and KU uh, fans. Now, that might detract a little bit from the college, you know, fandom. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, think- I mean, and it's, a, and it's a the way I look at it, too, man, is that, you know, uh, Missouri has two um, metropolis area, metropolitan areas, which is, you know, obviously Kansas City and St. Louis. And obviously, there's a there's an interstate rivalry between Kansas City and St. Louis, but I think that if we, you know, like if there was a basketball team in Missouri, then you're gonna get the support. You know, if it was in Kansas City, you're gonna get the support of people in St. You're gonna get support of people in Missouri. You know, I'm I'm sure shit, not a Blues fan. Mm. Yeah, well, who get? Well, I don't know. You might get fucked about hockey, but I don't. No, I, I don't, I don't get fucked about hockey, so I don't. Yeah, know. Exactly. So you know what I'm saying, but. You know, um, and I don't know, and, and you know, on that same uh, on that same note, I don't know how many like motherfucking cats from St. Louis are Chiefs fans now that St. Louis doesn't have a, a NFL football team. Shazad, Shazad mm-hmm. was on last week. Shazad, uh, you know, what I'm saying, born in Pakistan, but you know, grew up in St. Louis, lives in Texas now. Um, mm-hmm. He he has transferred his fandom over to the Chiefs. Right, but it ain't, so it, ain't, it ain't it ain't the same ardent fandom that he had when when it was the uh, the, Rams the Rams of St. Louis. Yeah. Now but I will say this: he has come to Kansas City, and and I went to a Chiefs game with him. Uh, but that was when he was living in New York, and the Jets came through. So you know. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he was rooting but for I the think, Chiefs. I think I think so. I think my point was is that I think that overall you were talking about the fan, you know, the um, numbers, you know, the fandomship or whatever. Um, I think that we we can compete with Vegas, man, because like you said, they have a transient, you know, a large uh, transient population, and the tourism is not popping how it was. Now, what they have over us, I'm I'm thinking, I'm just kind of reasoning, is they probably have, which what this article, you know, I think is about is, you know, they got more big money investors, you know, perhaps. So that's the, I think that's the real key right there, man, because we got the facilities. We should be able to get a billionaire. To step up. Yeah, man. I think so, man. I think or, or put together a, a group. You know what I'm saying? That, I mean, that, I, that I got a rack on it. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I, 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 you know, I got Joe's rack on it. 
They, I got Joe's right. And it said, it said, it said, Patty, Patty won't end on it too. That's hey. what I was thinking. Like, yeah, Patty, you know, what Patty, I mean? Patty, I don't know. can Patty do the Royals and and uh, the new basketball team in the NBA? I know, I know, he has got a couple. I know he has got a couple yeah, racks on it. Yeah, I think he can. Cause, cause, look, man, now, now Patty has the type of money where he don't have to spend his money. You know what I'm saying? He can exactly. borrow money. He can, you know, he could get investors to invest in whatever he's trying to do. So. You know, we ain't got to get, let's not get it twisted. Let's understand how people with money uh, do business. They don't necessarily spend their own fucking money. Correct. You know, now whether or not he knows that or whether he has the people advising them, you know, around him to advise them. I, to, think, you know, I think this dude got a fucking team around him, man. That nigga he don't ever, he, he don't never get caught slipping when it, when he say shit. You know what I'm saying? He got cameras in his face all the time. He don't never get caught slipping. On point. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? He just stuck with the, the woman he brought to the game. You know what I'm saying? He's like right. LeBron of, uh, of, the, of the NFL right now. Thus far. Thus Pretty far, much. man. Thus so, I mean, you know, his, you know what I'm saying? He, he grew up in the game. His dad was in the major leagues. You know how it right. worked. Yeah. Yeah. So he ain't, it, ain't, he, it ain't totally unfamiliar to him, man. He ain't new to but it. Yeah, man. I think. I think, you know, and, uh, you know, I hear, you know, from what I hear, I hear Tech Nine's doing pretty well. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying, like, you know, and these are just people that are known. These are, like, famous people. Really the people that really have money. But, you know, we got, know we got, got, like, Cerner here. We got H&R Block. Mm-hmm. True that. Hallmark. Yeah, you um, um, Garmin's here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So I Apple, think Apple Applebee's still, headquarters here too. We talked about Applebee's earlier. Applebee's headquarters yeah, here. Damn, no, I think and cool. even and even and even, and the most important thing, man, we got Joe's rack. So Joe's rack. Go. Rack's I, on, I got a rack on of racks. Them. Racks on rack, but no, no, not racks on racks on racks. Just <laughs> hey, rack. rack. Just a rack. One rack. Just a rack. Rack. One rack on it. Rack on rack. <laughs> rack. <laughs> I don't know how that goes. Uh, shit. Keep it moving. Uh, we talked about Patty. Uh. Big weekend coming up. NFL uh, plays divisional roundup game. Oh my god, divisional round game. Sorry, uh, we got uh, was it Rams, Packers, uh, Ravens, Bills, Browns, Chiefs, and Buccaneers, Saints. Good you game. Going on record. I'm, yeah, you know, I'm Chiefs. Let's go. <laughs> How you feel about it, uh, first Ten? Game, first game was was Rams, uh, Rams, uh-huh. uh, Green Bay. Oh, we go Rams. Green, okay, so we start at the top. Uh, I'm gonna go Green Bay. Uh, yeah, I'm going Green. Ooh, hold on, wait a minute. Let me think about that. Yeah, I'm gonna go Green Bay. Yeah, same here. Uh, it, as much as I want the Rams to win, uh, definitely Green Bay. I might fuck with Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, that defense. That yeah, defense that defense is, Rams, is cold, though. I'm yeah, probably fuck nice. with because Aaron Donald fuck around and just snap. Uh, yeah. You, you, you have Aaron Rodgers in half. You know what I'm saying? So, do, do him like yeah, Thanos. Yeah, ain't nothing nice. Do him like Thanos did the Hulk, nigga. Just punch that nigga in his shoulder. Right. Real hard. I don't, yeah. trust the quarter, I don't trust the quarterback, though. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't nah, trust, I don't trust I mean, golf. That nigga's been to Super Bowl recently. Well, so. yeah. He has. I don't know. I'm I, I'm not I'm not saying I'm like willing to put money on it, but oh, I'm no. I'm willing to be a contrarian. <laughs> not you, sir. But, but you not know, you. I mean, you did you said you said you said that he's been to the Super Bowl recently. We all know, we all know that they should not have been in the Super Bowl, though. We do know that. Yes, we uh, do. Why? Why? Because didn't they go through the Rams on the way there? Not no. the Rams. They go through the Forty Nineers on the way there. No, no. the Saints. The Saints. They they, that obvious oh, pass right. interference call. Saints. My bad. I forgot all about that. That obvious pass yeah, interference they had, call. They had that but that obvious pass interference. Pass interference. That was yeah, so. That was so call. bad. That niggas can review pass interference calls. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, hey, 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 hey. You talking about some motherfuckers should have storm something? Motherfucker, uh, Saints fans should have stormed the goddamn. Nigga, they uh, should have stormed dope, the field, <laughs> nigga, and whooped that referee's ass. That that for that, <laughs> nigga. They should have been saw the water under the bridge. Water under the bridge. Oh shit, we still got a sore ass for that shit, nigga. I remember watching shit. that, and I was like, really? <laughs> what? <laughs> they didn't call that? Yeah, that, that's that should yeah, that should have been Saints uh, Chiefs. That should have yeah. been Saints Chiefs at Super Bowl. But hey, good mm-hmm. good looking, cause. Then, yeah, because they got the uh, the call on Tom Brady with the chief, in the Chiefs uh, game. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That fucked yep. up uh, uh, roughing the passer call. Yeah, no. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. All bad. Uh, and the offsides. It's Tim Donahue all over again, man. Yeah. But anyways, my bad. No, no. All uh, good. All good. Passes. All good. All relevant. 
Uh, then we got Rams. Uh, not Rams. Ravens. Bills. Mmm. Mm. So I'm with the boy. I'm going with the boy. Gotta go with Lamar. I mean, Lamar. my yeah. black quarterback agenda. Uh, yeah. I want Lamar to win. I think the Bills gonna win though. Bills is tough. <laughs> I'm going with the boy, though. I haven't watched enough of the Bills. I know they're good. I just don't know why they're good. Josh Allen has really Josh turned. Allen. He's turned around his game a lot. He's got a lot more accurate this season. A lot more. And he's also, someone got in his ear and said, hey, you know you big, but you're pretty fast, too. You can run. Right. And he's been doing that a lot more when he needs to. Well, yeah, I mean, really, man, he's just, his like you said, his accuracy has been a lot better. His decision making, yep, um, has been considerably better. He's just not making the the fucking dumbass. Yeah, he's not throwing it up to make. Yeah, he's not throwing it up to Jesus and saying, "Help me." He's right, tucking, yeah. he's he's hitting that corner, tucking that bitch, keeping his eyes downfield. If nobody's open, that nigga running for ten yards. He's taking off. And the thing yeah. is, though, like he ain't as big as Cam, but he a big ass white boy. Right. Yeah, he's not a little dude at all. He's, you, yeah. you're, not, you're not gonna send uh, a cornerback on the blitz and bring and bring him down. That's yeah. not gonna happen. <laughs> so that's why I said, yeah, they, they were they worry me. They they worry me if the Chiefs play them. That's why, because he is improved and mm-hmm. that nigga is yeah. He ain't Lamar Jackson. Like I'm gonna break one for 80 yards and score a touchdown, but that nigga will make you pay if you don't get him down in the pocket. For sure. All right. You will. Yep. You're right. So, wait a minute. So, I think every, So, I said Bills. You said Ravens, Joe? Um, I, said Ravens. I said I said as a Chiefs fan, I'd rather play the Bills than the Ravens. I didn't necessarily make a call in this game. Make a call. Make a call. Um, I mean, shit, it's going to be up in Buffalo. Fuck it. Buffalo, I guess. I don't and, know. And I don't know. I, if, I, I know that. I just know that uh, Lamar Jackson, if he's on his game, is is a scary motherfucker. That's all he's I know. scary. Yeah. Shit. And, so, and I don't know if you guys listened to uh, Bamani Jones' uh, Right Time, but they're bringing up how um, this game is like the tale of two Americas. You got the black quarterback <laughs> that that niggas fuck with. You got the white uh-huh. quarterback the white America fucks with. You got the black quarterback, the white America, is pretty much saying ain't shit, even though he was the league's MVP last year. Uh, and, like, yeah, but should he have been? Uh, the Ravens don't get where they at without him. They changed their, yeah, whole, right. offensive, they changed their whole offensive scheme just for him. Just for him. He had an outstanding regular season. Yeah. Yeah, he did. And but we know who the best player in the NFL was last year, man. Of course. I know, but the most valuable player on the, on the, for a team – was them. They, they they don't they don't get the to the niggas won a Super Bowl. Huh? Niggas won a Super Bowl. He's pretty fucking valuable. He's pretty valuable, but I don't think mm-hmm. they win half their games. I mean, come on, Jackson. bro. That's like that's 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 kind of like um you know, LeBron could have won a bunch of uh, yeah. uh, MVPs that he didn't win. He won a bunch. He's won. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, 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 they, you know, they should name, they should rename the shit in the NBA the most valuable player not named LeBron. And, and let's compare right. Lamar, let's compare Lamar Jackson supporting cast to Patrick's supporting cast. I don't know. I think he had a hell of a defense a few years ago. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm talking about on offense, though. Well, there's no comparison to this. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's, so, that's what I'm saying. Like you got you got the you got the league's best tight end. You got. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think Tyreek Hill's the the best receiver in the league, but he's definitely probably the most dangerous receiver in the league. I think he's top yeah, he's five. The best, uh, he's the best. No, he's top five. Yeah. But I'm saying I'm not saying he is. He's not the best receiver in the league, bar none. He is the most dangerous receiver in the league to me. I All think. Right. I think if he keeps doing what he's doing, he's on the Hall of Fame trajectory. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that still make you the best receiver in the league. That makes you a Hall of Fame receiver. It ain't got to be the best. Receiver in the league to be a fucking dangerous ass weapon for, Doc, for the best you hear, quarterback. You hear what I just said? I said he's not the best, but he's the most dangerous. I just I literally just said that. Yeah, yeah, that's not what I said, but I feel you. Okay. I feel. What, what, what did you just say? I said that the quarterback is the best. That's what this I said. Be a great debate. Is yeah, the qu- the quarterback is no, the best. Not a great debate. Is episode. No, no, the quarter- all, no, no. Patrick is the best. So y'all trying to Patrick is the best quarterback in the league. But Le- <laughs> that's but Le- that nigga got that Tito's and I got this Jefferson. Ah. Yeah. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, yes. Right now, Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the league. He's the face of the NFL. But Lamar Jackson was the most valuable player for his team. Yes. I don't believe that. How is that? 
Then you got bounced in the first round. Okay, and but the MVP is a um, is a regular season award. Exactly. That's I understand. It's most, but we also beat him in that season. No, but okay, but now with, with what Joe with what Joe is saying, if you remember last season, the, in my opinion, the only reason that um, well Lamar had a hell of a season, number one, and I think he deserved the MVP. But exactly. if Patrick Mahomes wouldn't have got that uh, where he fucked up his kneecap yeah. and he missed like what well, two and a half games, Pat got so. injured. Yeah, Pat got injured. Yeah, yeah. So, Pat so if if that wouldn't have happened, I think that Pat would have would have won. Yeah, it. He, uh, he may have won it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not mad. If Pat would have won, I'm not mad. But I still think I, that I don't I don't want to relitigate who won the 2019 MVP. All I'm saying to you is not a day that Lamar Jackson has been in this NFL has he been better than Pat uh, Mahomes. That's all I'm saying. Mm, yeah, not, of a course, yeah. not a single day. I don't think anybody. I don't think any of us is arguing against that. Well, they yeah. argue that shit because they said last year he was the MVP. But I, but I'm I'm done. He's the most valuable player for okay, his team, no. though. All right, we got you. I don't know. Lamar Jackson with Tyreek Hill, fucking t- Travis Kelsey. Uh, well, who y'all got this year then? Because this year the, the, the question is Pat Mahomes versus uh, Aaron Rodgers. They they probably don't give it to Josh Allen or uh, fucking uh, Aaron Rodgers. No, they're, they're, not give, give no, they're not getting a job. It's either going to be Aaron Rodgers or going to be Pat Mahomes. It's going to be Aaron Rodgers or Pat Or, or, okay. or I'm just saying. Or, I'm just it saying. might be that motherfucking man of fun boys over there in Tennessee. Yeah, it, it might, might be, be that there. beast. Uh, I think oh, that's what should win it, me personally. I think Derrick should win it. See, you, you, know you, don't, think, you don't think so. A quarterback who they're saying improved his game in his, in his leading, in his – it has a receiver that he's been passing to that is the number one rated receiver in the NFL has a chance of reading it uh, with an MVP. I'm going off of, off of the media I've seen. I'm just going off of the games I've seen. Actually, media media the I've seen and the, point, and the motherfuckers sorry. who vote for this shit are the members of the media. I get it. I'm just going off the games the I've seen. Been talking about those two and then they added Derrick Henry to the list. I know, but Derrick Henry Derrick Henry got what? Shut the, got shut the fuck down his last game. Yeah, he did. yeah, like you said, it's a regular season. season. I get it, I get it, but I, Josh yeah, Allen for regular season one. game, that nigga ran for two hundred fifty. No, no, I think. Right. But the thing is, though, the the way it's set I up, the, the thing it is, I think, I think, I think he should win it. But the way it's set up, quarterbacks win the MVP. The way it's set up, I feel that, and, and I agree with that. But if if a, a yeah, that's why I want Derrick Henry to win. I do. Derrick, yeah, I mean, the nigga ran for two thousand yards. Like what, seventeen touchdowns? That shit. That shit's only happened like twice. No, the, yeah. the 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 nigga had he's having motherfucking old school motherfucking uh Campbell. Jim Brown. He, yeah. He's fucking Jim Brown, bro. Yeah, Jim Brown, motherfucking uh Earl Campbell. Yeah, Campbell. Who's nigga? Yeah, who's nigga with the hot links? I, I, I think he see Campbell. I think I think I think the only nigga in that class is Jim Brown, bro. Jim Brown. I'm just saying, like he, he's 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 having a old. I think we're just trying to say he's having an old school running back season in the passing league. The shit doesn't happen. No yeah, that's all, that's all, we all on the same page. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. Yeah. So I I say I say it's a three horse race. Uh, Pat might be third on that list this year. I don't know. Yeah, he kind of. I mean, he didn't. Did he? He didn't play the last game, right? No. No, he was. He didn't play last game, and he had a couple little, you know, kind of mediocre. I mean, mediocre for him. What I'm what I'm saying. Uh, games, you know. So. I didn't realize I Josh know. Allen led the NFL in passing touchdowns. Pat led the league in uh I'm sorry, say passing, again. I believe. No, I'm saying I, I was just I'm just reading this. I didn't realize that Josh Allen led the NFL in passing touchdowns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I didn't know that either. I was just saying I didn't know that either. I think I think it's really gonna be it's, I think uh Rogers has probably got the nod, but just like you said, it's a quarterback trophy. Yeah. I think I think uh Pat, you know, had those few little Toe stubs along the way where they still won, but he didn't shine. You know what I'm saying? Right. Should he win? Uh, yeah. But I mean, going forward, if I can redraft, I'm taking Pat Mahomes over Aaron Rodgers every fucking day. Every day of the week. Every day of the week, because I mean, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to be mad. Five. But I'm not going to be mad if I have to um, settle for Aaron Rodgers, though. But no yeah, doubt. Taking, but Aaron Rodgers is what? Pat. Aaron Rodgers is in his 30s, right? I believe. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like taking Pat. I'm yeah. taking Pat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we'll, we'll see what happens when they reward this, and you know, the, the podcast always comes back weekly. We will revisit this. Uh, well, uh, who's the next game? We got next. We got uh, Browns and Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we was gonna hold that for last. But, oh, uh, yeah, I mean, Chiefs, man, up top, up top. Who's going on? Who's going in order? Oh, my bad. Yeah, I'm going. I'm just going in order. So. Yeah, yeah three o'clock, the, the two o'clock game on Sunday. 
Uh -huh. That nigga buried the fucking lead, bro. My bad. You know what I'm saying? That's all good, nigga. Like, oh, what were the guys from Kansas City going to say about the Chiefs-Browns game? Yeah. Chiefs, nigga. <laughs> I didn't know. Like, I, like there was a fucking mystery there. Even though we right. talked about it, we, we somewhat <laughs> talked about it, but still worried about the Browns running the tech. Yeah. But it's, I think, I think we were, what are we, like, number, like, 30 or 29 as far as rush defense? Mm. Something like that. Pretty low. Well, bro, like, I mean, this is my thing, though, with the Browns is that um, they won this uh, game last weekend. But look at, what it took. look at what it took, though, man. Like, it took, like, just the Steelers just fucking the fuck up. Oh, man. Uh, you talk like, about. They did pretty much everything that you could do wrong. <laughs> they did wrong. That nigga and, being and shit to the bed. Chance. They still had a chance. You know what I mean? So. But, I mean, uh, you it's. Know, Kudos to the Browns, you know, congratulations to them. But I don't think they really stand a, a real, you know, real chance, man. Um, I don't know. They're they, they, they going to have to put up 35, man. If they put up 35, on, they might have a shot. It depends on what version of the Chiefs show up. Wow. Right. There we go. I, I put it this way. We might we might flail in the first quarter because we have a tendency mm -hmm. to do that shit. But we're going to put up 35, nigga. I think so, yeah. I mean, our last four games, were we putting up 35? You can't count the last one because we're playing a fucking charge. Well, the, 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 three, the three before that, I don't think we put up 35 points. Uh, I'd have to go look, but I, I'm sure. I mean, I don't know off the top of my head. Or, or That's close why to I was it. asking. You know what? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 28. They're gonna, they, they're gonna at least put up 28, man, and they're not gonna make the mistakes. As long as they don't make the mistakes that the Steelers These made. niggas are like the fucking Golden State Warriors, man. They, I feel they, you, they, dog. They can shoot you. the fucking lights out anytime they want to. Them niggas wait until yeah. it, it matters. Well, like I right. said, that's why I said, I hope that version of the Chiefs show up. Well, that's it always shows up. That's all I'm saying. Always, yeah, it always shows up. It just, it just what quarter is going to show up. Okay, right? that's yeah. right. So, but once again, you're, you're facing a team that's run heavy. And the one thing that we do know, you keep Patty off the field, they don't do well. So to answer your question, in the last four games, okay, we put up 33 against the Dolphins. Not 35. 33. <laughs> Not 35. 30, 32 against the Saints. Not 35. 32. <laughs> Not 35. And we put up 17 against the Falcons. Like I don't think they definitely were not 35, the nigga. They weren't interested in that game. They was over there, they was over there fucking around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, hold on. And really, I know. And really they were fucking around the Dolphins game. And really, I don't know. I like I like how I like how Joe was like 33. No, good well, If I had said that, he did the same shit. Ain't 35, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he definitely wouldn't. Be. Yeah, he definitely wouldn't. Be. <laughs> well, we pleased the pie, nigga. It just depends on what side of the pie we sitting on. I know. See? I know, nigga. <laughs> I know, it's nigga. You know what's up. <laughs> but no, like I said, man, I, I just hope they come out. I hope they don't do that shit where they shit the bed the first quarter, lean on the defense, and either we get behind on a team that can run the ball. That's all I worry about. That's it. That's all. But, I mean, look, that happened uh, last year in the Super Bowl, right? You know, yep. the 49ers, that's what yeah, the for, they were. But the, for, the, the, the 49ers yeah, got yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah. The 49ers yeah. got cute and said, we're going to try to pass the ball a little bit. Uh, they certainly did. They which, sure was did. A, which, which is they stupid. Did, yeah, they did. They did do that. Yeah, and now, the same thing the that they could ever do. The same thing that, that, uh, that uh, the Ravens did the first time we played them. The same thing, All right. Same shit. They didn't learn it. Well, that's they the thing, though. Pressure bust pipes, man. They, I, I feel like they got to keep up with the Chiefs, so they got they can't afford to sit back and run because they know the Chiefs are gonna come down in, in three plays and get a touchdown. You know what I'm saying? I feel. You. I feel you. You know what? It's gonna you happen know. at some point in time. It's just a matter of when. Yeah. Right. So, I know. Like I said, bro. If the Chiefs, as long as the Chiefs don't fuck up like the Steelers did and th and and have a whole bunch of turnovers, a whole bunch of stupid shit, then. I don't think the Browns can keep up, man. It's not, you know, no. they not their offense ain't built that way. I get so it. They have to have the Chiefs. They have to have the Chiefs help them. I get they have it. Have to have that, you know. They yeah. have to get some uh, turnovers. They have to get some short fields. You know what I'm saying? And, and get that lead, and then be able to, like you say, lean, sit back on the run. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I don't think that the Chiefs, because Patty Mahomes don't make those mistakes, man. He don't. He don't and turn the ball over like that. That's what I was gonna say. That's the one thing. Even though they've been playing yeah. shitty. It ain't been a lot. Of, it ain't been a lot of turnovers. That's that, that's yeah. the well, one thing. Pat has had an uncharacteristic amount of turnovers in those four games we just got to talking about. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like one right. game where he had what, two or three interceptions or something like that. 
but yeah. He had like three turnovers in one game, and I want to say he had another game with two. But you know, what I'm saying? Okay. obviously he overcame that shit by balling out on the, you know, what I'm saying the other drives. Yeah. Right. I mean, that, that put his turn, that that like put his interception numbers for the year. I, and I don't know the numbers exactly, but like for yeah. like it, like six, seven, eight. Maybe. Yeah, less less than ten. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know what I mean? So that's just you know. That's, that's what not, I was That's not his mo. That's not what he does. It's not his mo. We just saying that it's not out of the realm possibility. Either, so we just got to make sure that you know what I'm saying. We ain't got to make sure. Them niggas got to make sure. Right, right. Of, you know yeah. what I'm saying. All right, so uh, last game of the week, Sunday. Old man bowl. The old man, the History Channel bowl, nigga. The Buccaneers basic, at though. the Saints. Who you got, Ten? Who you got, you know Ten? Oh, you know who I got. You got who that? Tom Brady. Who that? Who that you got? Hey, black and gold. They're <laughs> all day long. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Say that then. It's gonna That's be. Right. It's gonna I'll be. be long. It's gonna be the battle of the ten yard outs, nigga. This is about to happen. <laughs> it is. gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna be some rib breaking and ankle ankle popping. That nigga Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Brady throw that bitch. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I mean. Um, it, I think it, it's going to come down to which team brings the best running game, for real, for real, though. It's going to be the Saints. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, uh, I'm going to call that nigga Kamala. <laughs> Kamala. <laughs> I'm going to call that nigga Kamala, though. <laughs> Hopefully that nigga show up, bro. Hopefully he show up. He showed up last it's week. It's hard to beat a team three times, though, man. It's very hard. Very hard. It is. It is. That's yeah. true, Yeah. And it's it's hard it's hard to go against that dude, man. It's hard to go against uh it's hard to go against Mr. Brady. And also uh, scary Antonio Brown coming on late in the season. I think he's starting to get yeah, settled. He's been, starting to learn the yeah, offense a little more. And he's, and he's been yeah, stepping he's up. I noticed that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. That. And you better hope I Mike might, Evans I needs might, to. I might, buck, I might buck the trend. Wow, you did that. What you didn't gonna you? do? Go Buccaneers. <laughs> I mean, back to bucks. Bucking the trend, man. Yeah, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's what I said. I see what you did there. I I say well, Anto- Antonio Brown coming on. If Mike Evans is healthy, it's it's gonna be tough on y'all. And then they got a decent running attack. It's gonna be tough. Yeah. Cause I, th- I think y'all pass. Cause like, I think y'all passing defense is like thirtieth or twenty eighth somewhere. They thirty for thirtieth or 29th as far as like uh, NFL as far yes. as your passing defense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that run defense, oof. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, All right. Uh, let's close out with some uh, comedy from the uh, Fuck Around and Find Out Files. We got to do the bird call, damn. Y'all coming down to have no motherfucking time. Put that shit back in the car and move. Oh, no, Trump. There's no Trump. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all You thought you was about to bring a Trump 2020 flag in the hood? Yeah, nigga, no. We don't keep playing it, but basically, these Trump 2020 motherfuckers (laughs) showed up in a black neighborhood. And the oldest nigga with no teeth, probably with a bottle of night train, let them niggas know they need to head back to where the fuck they came from. Right. Not welcome, sir. Keep Hell it playing. Yeah. This is Joe Biden. Right? Y'all been moving that shit. I'm gonna go with him. This I'm is with Joe Biden shit here. Get it all. Get that shit around here. <laughs> fuck wrong with y'all. Y'all bring all that shit. Joe Biden you shit. Don't yeah. that shit in my you don't bring that shit in my neighborhood. Leave oh, it there if you want. You ain't gonna have no time to nothing. <laughs> Move that motherfucker. Put that shit back up in That nigga said, leave your car if you want. You ain't gonna have no tires or nothing, nigga. <laughs> she gonna be on cinders, nigga. You yeah, gonna be on the blocks. Here we go. Off the, off the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all gonna be left with a frame, dog. Just find the motherfucking house here, man. Yeah. Just the house Joe Biden. Get the fuck up out of there. If you got your gun, I got my motherfucking gun, too. <laughs> that nigga said, if you got your gun, I got my motherfucking got gun, my too. Guns too. We gonna be some shooting motherfuckers. We gonna, we We'll shoot at each other, nigga. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Trump fans, don't don't go to the hood. Don't do that. Please don't. Please don't. Bad idea. Very bad not, idea. Not 2021. We niggas is tired. <laughs> <laughs> niggas is tired. The Black Lives Matter. Then go to the hood. Oh shit. 
Uh, I, yeah, that shit's just regular shit here. Okay, whatever. All right, all the tabs are complete. All the points have been made. All the yes. points have been made. Yeah, D. We peeped that shit too, D. I know you listening. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I hear you using niggas' phrases on Facebook. I seen that shit. Okay. <laughs> no, I right, even though. know you did. I'm seeping into. The, that's what it is. We seeping into the the consciousness of America, man. But we can't right, be mean. No, that's we what it is. We want yeah, D to drink. come back, so we can't be mean. We can't be mean. D got to come back. So, <laughs> yeah, we, hey, D, come on back to the show. You know what I'm saying? Show your face. Show your face. All right, man. Uh, yeah, shit. So. Hopefully, uh, well, except for Zab's team, because they're not in the playoffs. But, uh... Oh, <laughs> oh man, they were, they were decimated this year. Blow, man. Oh. <laughs> My bad. We were runners up we last year. We were hurt all season, man. Come on. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. So, you know... Yeah. Good luck to everybody's team. You know, this uh, coming weekend, you know, uh, 10, me and Joe, we're going to keep our fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, hopefully we uh won't have to meet up and then have to talk shit on ten if it's team uh, facing the Chiefs <laughs> when that time comes. Yeah, yeah. And don't, and nigga, don't be doing that. Don't be doing that bandwagon shit either. Don't be, well, I'm basically I'm I'm for both teams really. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. That nigga started out like a fucking lion in the chat group a few yeah. weeks ago when we played the Saints, and that nigga ended up a church mouse. He ain't <laughs> said nothing about it. I don't gonna say nothing. Man, nobody ain't gonna need to say nothing. Let's go. Let's move on. But why we got okay? Would you have moved on if y'all would have won? Yeah. Nigga, just stop. That's why you pause like a lying ass nigga. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 ten, ten, ten. Don't back down. Don't back down to these bullies. No, no. Don't back down to these bullies, man. Because they won. Because hey, they won the Super Bowl, saying, man. Hey. Don't back down. Don't back down on us because we champs. Don't do that. I <laughs> Give me a half an hour. That nigga said, be, be Tom Petty. Don't back down. <laughs> Don't be back down. You hey, see bro, I, be, like, be like Snoop Dogg in a, in, a, in a training day, man. Just put me in the front seat with these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. When nigga, you was in the front seat last year, nigga. We saw how that worked out. How that worked out. Right. Y'all won't see, hey, y'all won't hey, see hey, a dead hey, body? Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck hey, Joe. Hey. hey, Joe. Y'all won't see a dead body? <laughs> hey, hey. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, shit. We coming back. We coming back, baby. Like cook yeah. crack. Y'all coming like back. Shit. All right, then, shit. man. It's time It's time to get out of here. Got to get up. Oh, Baby's going to be up. I'm talking about I'm hungry, so it's time to do what Boy. we got to do. All right, man. Uh, Next. Yes, yes. Thank you, fellas, man. Tim Me, the so uh, Zeb the Soldier, Joe Jeff, Casey Stork here, Triple B, Brothers Breaking Bread. Never miss a moment to break bread with your brothers. We out. your brothers whenever possible.